Welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the garage again. Uh, I'm going to be installing uh, the new air cleaner that I had purchased. Uh, once again, this is the DK Customs Outlaw 606 with the external breather system. Um, I don't know if I'll do both of them in one video or if I'll do them separately. I don't know. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. First things first all the time, uh, let's get the old one off. Uh, T27. Okay, now take it off. Okay, and now the taking the actual air cleaner off itself, which is uh, again the T27. Got to unhook the line here, the hose in the back. There, I guess that's the external breather that I'm going to replace in because this actually goes back into into the um, manifold here. So there's the old one. So next, you take off the hose here, and then these are the nuts that are holding the other assembly on so we just have to take this out you can really see the uh, the size of the air that actually comes into the uh, to the air cleaner from outside like that's not very much room um, so yeah so let's get the socket for these So these are the bolts that the excess oil comes out. Just give it a wipe down here. So first thing for installing it um, is actually to come up with where you actually want the, the catch can to be. Now I'm not 100% sure where I actually do want it. Um, so what I, I am thinking I'm going to actually do is I'm going to mount it like right here for now because it's not going to use a lot of the hose so that way if at a later time I do want to change it. Um, one, it's easy access here, and it's 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 semi hidden. Um, and two is if I do want, I can just get the hose um, at a later time and move it to wherever I want to do it. Um, so for now, for the sake of uh, time, I'm just going to actually put it here for now. Um, I think that uh, that should work. Um, another thing I should mention is uh, there's a lot of instructions. So every single one of these bags, other than the hose. Um, one for um, the catch can, uh, another one for the external breather, um, and then another one for the actual um, um, air cleaner itself. Um, so lots of instructions. Uh, so it, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's idiot proof, um, other than the fact that this idiot here is actually doing it. Um, but anyways, let's uh, get onto the banjo bolts. That's the first thing we have to do. Um, they talk about, um, putting um, uh, Teflon glue or paste um, but I'm just going to use actual uh, Teflon tape instead uh, they say that's uh, just as good so I'm going to actually use that so I've put the uh, Teflon tape um, on both of the bolts um, that are going to be going in uh, so here's the the banjo that uh, they talk about um, this is what it goes in um, and then the you have so you have the bolt you have the the banjo bolt and then two washers with it um, and then on here 
there's actually two different sizes for um, for the holes. Um, apparently, it doesn't matter which side you you go on, um, but I do know one of the guys um, from DK Customs says he likes putting it through the, the larger size hole. So that's what I'm going to do. If it's <laughs> if the uh, the guy from the actual shop is doing it that way, that's that's the way I'm going to do it. So um, so basically, all it is is washer on each side and banjo bolt right through and then you're supposed to just put it on uh put it in finger tight right now i guess uh you tighten it down after just uh, i guess moving around depending on where you want it uh, so let's go ahead and put that in here so just finger tight and then get do the exact same on the next side. So the kit comes with uh, six feet of uh, hose that you used for uh, piping here. Now um, at this point what we do is just kind of rough it in. Um, so like I said I'm going to put the catch can down here. Um, and so there's going to be a T down here. Um, it comes with two T's. It has actually a, a brass T and then a, a black one. I'm going to use black because it's not going to stand out like a, like the, the um, brass one. Um, so I'm going to just cut a length. So probably about right like that. Now, because of the type of fittings, uh, what they say you can do is just spray some silicone lube in it uh, just to help it go on. So I'll do that. Right there. And keep fitting down here. Now I want the same type of length to go from here to here, um, so it's in the same location. So I'll just kind of match this up here, go right there. There, and then obviously just a, a little tiny piece for the, the bottom down here. Huh, that's going to be too close together. I'm going to need to bring that up a bit. So, I think right like that for now, but yeah, I'm going to have to run that somewhere different than there, because that's, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I guess it depends on once we get the, uh, the air cleaner on, how it's going to look, but I have a feeling that's going to be rattling around and stuff down there, um, where I've seen it on other ones, it actually, it's, uh, it's actually just hanging, it's not actually against anything. Um, so I'm going to have to think about where I want to put that. But anyways, we'll leave it there for now. Um, let's see what's next. So I have changed my mind. I've uh, taken it off. I'm actually going to run it down here and put it down. Um, I guess you can't really see it here. Um, I'm going to put it the hose in behind um, the lifters. Uh, bring it down here and I'm going to tie it in down, down in here somewhere. Um, I'll attach it to either the, the frame or uh, this hose here, uh, just so it's out of the way. Um, I don't want it rattling around up here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run it uh, down there. Um, I did quickly mock it up, um, and it does seem to seem to work. Um, 
So I won't bore you with that. It it's just a quick running of the hose um, and then uh, attaching the catch can on the other side. So I won't bore you with that. So the kit actually comes with uh, hose clamps uh, to put on there or just zip ties. Um, apparently it doesn't have a lot of pressure on it so it, it's probably overkill for it. Um, but I am going to use the black zip ties uh, so you can't actually see the, the, hose, uh, the hose clamps. So I'll go ahead and just zip tie everything down. Okay, so now that I have them all zip tied down, now we have to tighten the, uh, the banjo bolts and they go down to 120 to 144 inch pounds not foot pounds inch pounds they make it very clear Okay, so we have to install the the back plate. Now it comes with uh, two two washers that are uh, exactly the same, as well as a, a spacer for it. Um, so these washers um, they have a little groove in here, so there's only one one way they they will go. So if you try to do it like this, it's not going to go on there. Um, the little groove is for this little area here, so it will only go a certain way. Um, so it's going to go like that on there. Um, so the way they go, make sure I have them both the same way. Um, it goes one washer, the spacer, another washer, and then the backing plate. Um, and then it comes with... I think they're called standoff standoffs so this will go through all of this and the backing plate onto here um, let me just grab the backing plate so first things first I'm actually gonna put uh, Loctite on each one of these these bolts blue Loctite so the way this will go is um, put the bolt through let me just put these aside here. A gasket, sorry, bolt through the backing plate, uh, gasket, make sure it's the, uh, um, the proper way for it. So that one goes on there. Then the spacer. Then the other gasket, again, making sure it's it's the proper way to go on there. Okay, now I think I should do two of these just to line them up. Make sure the gaskets are aligned. Spacer, gasket. Now you torque it down. Uh, it says 40 to 60, so I'm just going to do 50 pounds. Now it says to wait um, a few minutes just to see sometimes it, the uh, gaskets compress a little too much so we're just going to leave it like this for a few minutes and then I'll retorque them. Okay so I did retorque these a couple of times um, however I did run into an issue um, and the issue that I actually ran into is I do not have the bolts um, to go in the bolts um, and washers that go in through here into, into this to hold the actual filter onto the uh, onto the bike um, so 
I've contacted, I, I don't have those ones or I don't have the one that goes in here that holds the, the black finned on there. I don't have that one either. Um, I do have the nylon washer for whatever reason, um, but I don't have anything else. Um, so um, I, 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 I want to finish this off. I don't want to wait. Uh, I'm, I haven't heard back from them yet, but I'm sure they'll, they'll uh, treat me right um, and get it back or whatever. So uh, in the meantime, I went out and I got the, uh, the bolts, the sizing and everything. Uh, for, to be able to put these on and I'm just gonna finish the install like this uh, just for the time being and when I get the proper ones I'll switch them out so they're uh, quarter inch bolts um, three three quarter inches long um, and then you just line up so the holes will match um, at their shop they actually lengthen the size of these holes so they will actually only fit one way so I thought originally you'd have the Harley Davidson logo up, but the way they've done it, it's, it's off kilter and this is the way it's going to, to fit onto this one. Um, as you can see, that's the only way the uh, holes will actually line up. So let's... So the next piece is you put this uh, um, basically a gasket over top of this to put the uh, outside cover on. Now the one part I did have was the little nylon gasket, or not gasket, nylon uh, washer. Um, and then this just goes straight on here. Um, I'm not going to tighten this down too much. Um, again, I'm going to wait till they I get the proper one, but this is going to have to do for now. Make sure that's level. So there, there's it installed. Um, external breather down here. Uh, the catch can I've put down there. Um, and that's the Black Finned Outlaw 606. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Quick update. Uh, so uh, DK Customs did get back to me. Uh, so they're gonna actually send out the, uh, the three bolts that I'm missing or the two bolts Sorry, the three bolts, the one bolt, and the washers that I, I'm missing. Um, they got back to me really quickly. Um, I had uh, filmed the last part, ran to uh, Home Depot. I emailed them, or emailed them, went to Home Depot, then uh, came back and uh, put it on. And they had already e emailed me back that they're going to send it. So they're actually sending it out today. Uh, so I figured I'd just let you know. So I'll just have the, oops, have the... Uh, the bolts that I had got from Home Depot on there just for a little bit, uh, I should get it soon. Uh, they mentioned it might it might have been uh, customs going through it, might have uh, missed it out. But uh, regardless, great customer service. Um, and uh, if anyone has any questions about it, uh, let me know. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching.